so this is video two and we're going to look at specifying payments due so basically essentially how we make payments when they come off um, and what we use them for so when we look at specifying payments due we need to first look at whether they're an ordinary annuity or whether they are an annuity due. And the difference simply is when the payment is made. So if it's an ordinary annuity, it's payments that are made at the end of a period, like a loan. Okay, and you'll see that nothing is shown here on the screen versus an annuity due, which has the BGN, which is shown on the screen for beginning. And that's when payments are obviously made at the beginning of the month, like a lease. All right. So Again, and you'll hear this often from me throughout this video series, before you begin, remember second function mode to clear everything off your calculator before you begin your next set of questions. So the first thing we want to look at is a future value annuity. So we want to create a fund which has 200,000 Rand in it at the end of two years. So at the end of each month, we're going to make a an amount of a payment and we're getting paid an interest rate of 6.7%, which is compounded monthly. What should your monthly deposit be? So firstly, we set the number of payments per year to 12. Then we check that the compounding payments or the compounding intervals are also 12. Um, and then we calculate the total number of payments. We input the future value, the present value, the interest rates, and then we calculate our payment. Now, yes, that did feel fast. And if you haven't done the first video with me, you'll understand why, because we're going to do it now on the calculator. We've got this value. And as always, we always set our number of payments first. So we're going to say second function and our Y and type in our payments per year, which is 12. Press enter. And that sets it up there. If you press your down arrow key, you'll see your compounding intervals. And normally, these are the same. Um, so we just check that it's okay. And once we're happy, we can press on. Right. Now we calculate the total number of payments. So it's a two year um, savings that we're going to do. So it's two. And then we're going to say second function and our end value to say times PY. And then we're going to save it into our total number of payments in. And you'll see again that arrow that tells us that this is now saved into the N um, variable. Okay, so once that's done, we can now do the rest of the stuff on our top line. So we're going to do our future value, which is 200,000 Rand future value. Then we'll do our present value, which is zero because we're starting at zero. We have nothing at the moment. Uh, our interest rate is 6.7% per year. All right. And now we need to calculate the monthly payments that we need to make in order to save up 200,000 Rand in two months. So we're going to say comp and payments and it's going to tell us that we need 7810 rand and 67 cents so before you begin with our second example remember to press second function mode to clear everything away on your calculator so lease payments you plan to purchase a new car which costs 350,000 rand on a 60 month loan the interest rate is 15.7 percent payments are due at the beginning of the month how much should you pay each month so the first thing before we do anything else is we need to set the calculator to an annuity due and in other words we press second function and future value you'll see it says begin on it all right once that's done, we can then roll through our normal steps. So we're going to put in our payments per year. We're going to check our compounding intervals. We're going to calculate the total number of payments. Then we're going to put in our future value, our present value, our interest rates, and we're going to calculate our payments. So let's do it now on the calculator together. As always, remember second function mode to clear away the previous calculation. Right. So let's start off um, by setting our annuity due, and we do that by saying second function and future value. Right. Then we go back to our standard way of doing it, where we first set our number of payments. So second function and IY, and we have 12 monthly payments. We press enter, we check our compounding intervals, they're all fine, and we move on. Next, we do our total number of payments, which we already were told is 60, so we don't need to do the calculation. <coughs> We can just save it into our end value straight away. Now we set our other values. So it's zero for our future value because we're paying off the loan. Our present value is 350,000 Rand, which we put in here. 
Our interest is 15.7%. So we put that into our interest. <clears throat> and now all we have to do is calculate our payments. We say compute and payments. And it tells us that the, the monthly repayment over 60 months is 8,346 rand and 43 cents. Right. So before you begin, again, as always, second function and mode. Our next example says calculating the present value of a lease with a trade-in value. So here we're talking about a leased copier machine on a five-year lease where your payments are 3,500 Rand and they're made at the beginning of the month. The machine has trade-in value of 60,000 Rand at the current point with 34 monthly repayments that you still have left on your five-year lease. If you buy the machine at the present value of the lease, discounted at an annual interest rate of 16% compounded monthly, how much would you pay for the machine? So again, we make sure that the BGN or begin is displayed. And because our previous question had that, we don't need to redo it. We do our number of monthly payments. We work out our leftover number of payments. We enter our monthly payments. We calculate the interest rate and the future value and then of course we actually calculate the present value what we would have to now pay for this machine at its current cost so let's do it now on the calculator together as usual we first delete uh, everything that was previously input into the calculator by saying second function and mode now we need to set our bgn or the beginning um, or, um, annuity due and so it's already set so we don't need to do anything there right so we look at the number of monthly repayments so we're going to say second function and i y and we say it's 12 monthly payments enter check our compounding intervals everything is fine and happy and we press on now there are 34 total payments left and so we don't calculate anything we just put in 34 as our n value our payment per month is 3,500 Rand. So plus minus sign because we're deducting with our total amount and we put that into payments. Our interest is 16%. So that goes into our interest. Our future value is also we're going to say 60,000 because that's where we're going to wind up. That's our trade in value. And so we're going to put that in to future value. Finally, we're going to calculate what we would need to pay now if we wanted to buy the machine outright. And so we're going to say comp and present value. Comp and present value gives us 134,692 rand and 95 cents. All right, last one before you begin. <clears throat> Press second function and mode. And now we're going to calculate the down payment and the amount to borrow. So we want to buy a house. It's 1.8 million Rand. And the bank offers 6.8% compounded monthly on a 30-year loan. If you can afford a monthly repayment of 10,000 Rand, how much can you borrow? And how much do you need for a deposit or a down payment on the house? So now, because it's a loan, we need to make sure that the BGN or begin is not displayed. And we're going to press second function and future value to do that. So we set the number of payments per year to 12. We check our compounding intervals as normal, and then we enter the total number of payments, okay? We enter our monthly repayment value, we put in our interest rates, and we set our future value to zero. Now we wanna calculate how much we can borrow at this point if we're willing to pay 10,000 Rand a month. And once we get that value, we're gonna then subtract it from our um, original loan amount that we needed to find out what we would need to pay as a deposit on the house. Again, we obviously delete everything from the previous calculation, so we're starting fresh all over again. Now, we've got BGN displayed, but because it's a loan, we pay at the end of the month, so an ordinary annuity, and so we need to then reset the calculator back to an ordinary annuity by pressing second function and your future value button. Right, then we go back to our normal set of things. So we calculate or we set up our payments per year, which is 12 again. Press enter, check our compounding intervals and press on to clear. Now we do the number of payments. We have 30 years and we multiply that by the number of monthly payments, which is 12. And then we save that into our in value and 
we have 360 total payments. Now, payment per month, we said we can afford 10,000 Rand. Okay, so obviously remember your plus minus sign, 10,000, and your payment. And then our interest is 6.8% into the interest rate. Our future value is going to be zero. And we want to look at our present value. So we compute our present value, and that gives us a loan of 1 million five hundred and thirty three thousand nine hundred and eighteen rand and thirty four cents so what do we need as a deposit well now we say 1.8 million there we go minus and to make it easy for ourselves we're just going to say recall present value and you see now it's saved that present value and we press equals and it tells us that we need a deposit of 266,081 rand 66 cents. So we were able to get both values simply by using our recall button as well. Right, thanks for watching and, uh, enjoy, and I hope you enjoyed this video. The next one will look at amortization calculations. Cheers for now.